Alrighty, it's March 31st, and it's time for Comments X. Uh, I'll begin off uh, uh, because I've been walking, looking around at uh, a lot of uh, some of the new YouTubers, and this is sort of a welcome to some of the new YouTubers, particularly uh, the younger set, who are trying to figure out what they should be doing on YouTube, what people would like to see, and they're getting some of them are getting discouraged because they're not getting the feedback that they hope to get back. And it you know it does take a while to get people to watch your channel, and a lot of people like different things. It really depends on on what your viewers' preferences are. And uh, my preference, as I said this before, is a vlog. And I think if if you're gonna do YouTube, uh, no matter what you do, you should always also consider a vlog, whether it's weekly, daily, or however you want to do it. Uh, and vlogs are essentially what you're doing is you're inviting the person in and it's like having a conversation with them uh, that's why uh, instead of uh, being at the front room in my desk where I do the news or in the side office uh, I'm here on the couch and uh, it's basically as uh, we're doing comments X here for uh, Big Bang Theory RL which is my vlog uh, and you're getting to see a uh, real life uh, uh, basically comments X let me say the Big Bang Theory L is the show comments X is the daily vlog comments Y will be the video montages as they get to them so <laughs> working out the kinks and everything like that there's so much work to get done uh, bringing out some of the other channels some of the other areas of research that I'm working on that is really comp it's really kind of difficult to get the the, the daily the the uh, 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 daily or, or, or even a weekly um, uh, bit out, but I am working on. It, I mean, for comments, why? But I am working on it. Uh, I, I, I I should be adjusting to some of the some of the uh, new things today to, uh, to the new schedule today because I do have a new schedule today. Now, basically, if you're doing a vlog, uh, the vlogs that I like are the ones that uh, have you have to have some degree of personality, even if it's excited or or or. or uh, you know, quirky bits and stuff like that. That's the that, that's it, it's basically you're, you're sitting and hanging out with a person and and so you're, you're 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 like having a little bit of a chit chat. You're inviting the person into your life and you're and you know so it should be something along those lines where uh, uh, someone can see what you're doing on a daily basis or, or or how just just sort of you know hanging out with you as one of your friends. That's what you do. if you're doing vlogs on YouTube if you're going to be a YouTuber and want people to to subscribe to you uh, one of the things is it, this is one of the things is that you're letting these people into your lives and you need to sort of decide how much of your life you're gonna you're, you're going to invite these people into and then you sort of have to sort of you know uh, adjust your routines to that to this and I find that uh, that I find that, that the, the girls have more personality than some of the guys. I've been a lot too long, and now the guys, uh, different vlog sites, and their channels. But I don't find them in, in the, the the same sort of expression. The and it is, even with some of the girls' channels, uh, if the expression isn't there, if the personality isn't there, then I sort of click off. And I'm kind of the person I like the quirky, uh, slightly hyperactive personality. That's <laughs> that's what I like. So you know, this is of course one of my friends is that that that, that I, I I I go by very often is Cassandra Zarell. I go by uh, uh, on my front page there. I have uh, Ellie from Ellie uh, Ellie Copters page. Uh, she's one of the one of the members of the Right and Proper Ladies. Actually, see, she is from her page that I got to the Right and Proper Ladies and started viewing everybody else's down the line on the Right and Proper Ladies. But that, but that's that's basically sort of the the, the personalities that I like these the, you know the I found out now that you know as Morgan Page loves channel the the girl she's like that she's got the sort of uh, hyperactive uh, behavior uh, personality and I says, I, this is this is the type of personality that I kind of like I kind of like the sort of uh, over the top uh, uh, personality. Uh, and traits. Uh, but but beyond that, uh, 
uh, getting down to uh, what I'm doing, uh, uh, what I did yesterday, is, is that uh, I did uh, got it's, it's more or less sort of like, a, like what I call a checklist day because the weekends now I'm not doing the news, so the weekends are more for figuring out the work I've done during the week, how much I actually got down done, and then figuring out how much more I need to get done. So that's what I'm doing this week is I'm sort of doing an, an assessment. Uh, I'm also doing some of the work that I, I, I should have gotten done, I, or I felt I should have gotten done for last week and, and doing some more this week. So I have to do some more writing over the weekend uh, just to sort of fix everything up. Uh, I, I'm on, if you look at down below bar, uh, I'm on Goodreads. Uh, the book features, anything I do on books that uh, have to do with, with reading and stuff like that will be in, will be on the Bass Institute channel. Because uh, I have that uh, new documentary now, I'm, I'm I'm doing segments for it already. There, I, I've got the second segment up uh, from the dictionary. It's uh, it's basically we're tri we're going to it's like exploration inside the library, and we're going from the main uh, the mundane dictionary. We're following no different terms, and at some point in time, we're going to follow that path out and go from non-fiction, the path that's going from non-fiction into fiction, seeing how we can sort of link all these things together. And rather than having it pre-planned, uh, and this is the way I decided to do this, ser this documentary series, uh, the documentary series as you'll see it on the Bass Institute channel will be different from what you see on Physics TV. If you're in the Bass Institute, on, on the ba if you're watching it from the Bass Institute channel, and everything is on my front page there. If you look down at the featured channels, you can you can you can get there. Um, the Physics TV channel will be the doc documentaries set out into half hour half hour episodes or an hour episode, depending on how long I decide to make the episode. But they'll be they'll be the edited episodes. Uh, if you want to see it live and uncut, or, you know, basically very raw, as it occurs, then you go to the Bass Institute, look at, at the playlist uh, Adventures in the Library, and in there, that's where you will see uh, I will uh, go from a particular nonfiction point and, and then work my way into uh, the fiction point, and then you can comment on what I'm doing, or, or if there's other tangents you want to sort of want to go off and look at, you can do the same thing and participate. You know, all these things. You, it, it's not something that you just sort of have to watch the uh, documentary. If this is, if you're a person who's a reader, you like, if you consider yourself a booktuber, uh, and that's what I say. I have my Goodreads. I'm, I'm on Goodreads now, and I'm also I'm also a librarian on Goodreads because I have an enormous library here. I live in my library. I have approximately uh, between all the books I have, I have regular hard barn books, and then I have e-books. Uh, between the two, I've got more than ten thousand books in my library. Uh, my my library right now, and this is what I, I often I often talk about that I have to do work on that. It is it's become the where I do have to do a maintenance on it on a regular basis. Is that my library server, and that's what I'm talking about, the library server, it, it, it's the server that holds all my library books and the library materials, uh, is now over, is now approaching the three terabyte mark. Uh, I do have to add another two terabytes. I'll probably do that in October, November. I'll add another two terabytes uh, to the library. That would give me, in total, I'll have five terabytes or uh, 5,000 gigabytes. Uh, worth of library space, <laughs> and of which th uh, three three thousand gigabytes are already more or less consumed. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm trying to consolidate. I'm trying to really uh, see uh, what uh, what uh, uh, duplication I have, and sort of reduce the duplication. And if I've got mistakes where I've got multiple files in there, I'm only trying to really. Sc I've got to. Is this is now the nitty gritty cleaning up, the fixing up, so that. I can squeeze as much space. Uh, I can fit as much space into the uh, uh, into the into the uh, library server as I possibly can, 
before I add uh, more hard, more. Um, and that's all it is. It's adding hard drives to the uh, uh, to the server, and this is basically you plug this, plug the hard drive in, because I'm on Linux. The hard drives uh, recognizes it and adds it to the library, no problem. So there's no real issue with uh, under Linux in terms of adding uh, multiple sets of hard drives to uh, a library server. And so that's that's why that's what one of the things I have to work on this weekend. Uh, I have to start fix. I'm now starting to work on my websites uh, beyond Facebook page. I'm also moving into go on to Google Plus uh, through YouTube, and you'll see that work done as uh, as I s uh, sort of spread out my channels. Uh, all the research is coming out there. All the projects will come out onto the channels as well. Uh, everything I've done on Facebook, you'll be able to see on uh, YouTube and then eventually onto Google+. Everything that's being done on YouTube and Google+, we'll be able to see and have a uh, Facebook page or, or, or somewhere along that lines. So, uh, everything will be fully accessible from the social media, and at some point in time, I will try to connect everything to Twitter as much as possible. Uh, the main stuff is already connected to Twitter, so you can follow on Twitter as well. Uh, and see all the work that's going on there. Uh, if you are interested in participating in some of the pro programs and projects, uh, like the one that I have out now uh, for the student employment program, there are a number of people who are interested in that. Uh, you'll be able to see all the development for that program uh, before it comes out here uh, in Comments X. I'll be describing some of the stuff that I'm doing and where I am in the pro in the project. The finished project will come out on the uh, university's uh, uh, Facebook page and on the university site. There'll be two sections. There's two sections you can check under. Uh, there'll be the one that most people will be interested in, and this is uh, for people who are either unemployed and want to find employment again, or, or students who are finishing up their 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 uh, their uh, degree and haven't yet found a job or having problems finding a job. Uh, if you're in the adult section, the adult, the adult situation where you've lost a job and want another job, the the, the proper the Academia University Facebook page uh, is the one for you, and it's the it's particularly looking for the uh, student un uh, employment program and. Everything will be in the main part of the university channel. Uh, same thing for students who are finishing and haven't found a job yet, or are having problems finding a job. That will be there'll be that program is for you as well. Uh, there is going to be an employment program, a section of the unemployment program aimed for uh, kids uh, who are in um, basically from grade three on up. If they want to, you know, do lemonade stands, so just to, to learn commerce, learn about, you know, maintaining your finances. There's going to be a program in there, uh, and that will be under the UEP section. UEP, uh, for those of you who don't know or who need a reminder, UEP stands for the Undergraduate Extension Program. It extends, as the program says, it extends the undergraduate program uh, down to uh, kids as young as grade three. So. If you're in school, if you're bored with school and want something, some, some more of a challenge, UEP is what you can do. Uh, if uh, in September, October, I will be bringing out UEP as an option uh, for homeschoolers. If you want to do UEP as your primary school, your your, your main academic source, because uh, you're staying at home and going to school, uh, you'll have that as an option. So. Uh, None of the things that these things I said. These things always have to be worked on. There's a lot of work to get done I in them. You'll see a lot of the type of because everything is based in library science. So if you want to see how library science actually works, uh, you follow. You go to the Bass Institute channel. All the work that we're doing in the Bass Institute channel on the uh, adventures in the library. That's all library science, and this will sort of give you an idea how you extend things out from the library. Uh, that being said, I think uh, we're going to end here for now, and because uh, uh, I do have a few more things to do today in terms of the video, I have another video to do right now, 
uh, as soon as I finish this video, I'm going to do my Saturday gift and contribution to the Right and Proper Ladies. So I'll see you on the Right and Proper Ladies uh, video.